20 by 25, 16 by 20, 14 by 18, 12 by 16, and I had a bunch of leftover scraps, so I made a bunch of six by sixes for the tiny show at Studio Gallery. So I'm in the hills here east of San Jose. This is a pretty remote location, uh, Joseph D. Grant Park. I actually met Mora here, and uh, so we're just looking around trying to decide what to paint. There's a bunch of goats here, so that's kind of interesting. So the big challenge here is the fact that these goats are in constant motion. So both Mora and I are trying to figure out the best way to approach this. This, I don't think I've ever done. I, have you ever painted moving animals, Maura? No, I yeah. painted a sleeping dog once. Yeah, so we're just trying to figure out how to approach this subject. So I'm working on a 16 by 20 inch panel and I like the idea of having, you know, these hills here in the top portion and then some sort of arrangement of goats in the foreground. And I think the key thing to do is gonna be to squint down and just, you know, look for abstract shapes. You're thinking of doing like a close-up version of, a, of one of them, is that right? You know, I'd like to. So I, I have done a drawing here and wiped it out already three times because they keep moving and they're all sitting. So maybe I'll try doing a sitting guy. Yeah. I'll, I'll see what happens. I, it's just sketching with a paintbrush today. Exactly, there you go, yeah. perfect. But it started with one goat, and then I had to look at another goat, and... That's so good. <laughs> Thanks. I love that. So here's what I got so far. Oh, I just, that's good. Thank you. I just that's decided good. that I'm just going to mass everything on there, and then if... And maybe go, like, reductive style and start scratching out areas where I want animals to be, and then kind of look around, like, pick and choose, and sort of fill in the blanks, you know what I mean? There's going to be a trail right here, which you can see off there. I love that trail. So that trail will lead off. I was looking for, like, an abstract pattern that kind of led back in an interesting way. Yeah, you're so good at the big picture. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and I was... Leaving the white in there, you know, it gives that transparency that's really nice. And then you're already fading the mountains back there with the blue. It's good. When you're doing, like, small little things like this, to try to keep it loose and sketchy is really tough. Yeah. You know, because you want to you want to just spell it all out. It's this idea of just really, I guess squinting is the key there, just to keep it abstract. I like your, your saying, um, proceed with caution. Proceed with caution thing, you know, evolved out of just ruining so many paintings. So many, so you know? many. It's like I've ruined so many paintings. It's like, okay, I've learned. Proceed with caution here. Slow down yeah. and think. Do and not go on to autopilot. It's, it's easy. It's like chess. The rules are easy. The execution is hard. Yeah, exactly. And now all you need to do is get the right color and the right spot. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I did these open mics in Redwood City. It was really fun. It was like a lot of good players there. It was really cool. But the, anyway, the host was, he was, he was kind of a funny guy, but somebody came up to him and said, hey, Shane, I'm really, I'm really nervous. He's like, oh, don't be nervous. Just don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you gotta do. That, that is it. Yeah, just don't suck and you'll be fine. <laughs> and he was like. That totally doesn't help. No, he was, it was, the, it was one of the funniest things, but it did not, the poor guy.
That's really nice. You know, I'm just making him up. Now, a couple have started facing that way, which is good. Yeah, but but, I, I but it's just, I like the shadow pattern. And so, and in the head too, like, in, you know, it's really good. Yeah, I need to, I need to get a head. Yeah. You know, if one of these guys would. Ta it's like, take your pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's Mora's final. Yeah, it looks great. All right, so let's head back to the studio and take a look at this painting. Okay, so this thing was only $5.50. Look at this. Lemon wedges, two types of salsa. Okay, so here's what it came up with. To be honest, it came out better than I thought it would. I, I really had my doubts that I was going to be able to tackle this, especially because, you know, the goats were in constant motion. Um, but, you know, I was able to kind of just basically reduce them to simple shapes. And so I kind of uh, like the arrangement. I, I think it could have, this goat here could have been a little bit bigger. Uh, I would have created maybe more of a sense of depth, but um, I do like the fact that there are sort of these scrubbed in lighter areas here, which lead back to this trail. Um, and then the mountains in the background, I do like, although these distant ones, I think actually could be lighter and bluer. I've noticed that that oftentimes when I'm outside, uh, you know, I'll lighten a distant mountain and I'll think I've done enough to push it back. And then I get it home and it's clear I could have pushed a little further. Yeah, I try to keep these distant, you know, the distant goats uh, very loosely suggested. And the idea is, is that there's the goats in the foreground. So the mind, your mind will put it together that these are goats in the distance. So that's the hope anyway. This area right here is sort of large and there were exposed areas of dirt. Uh, so I included those. Otherwise this area would have been just, you know, almost one quarter of the panel um, uh, without a lot of interest. But I think it does add that sort of reddish color, uh, which, you know, complements the greens. All right, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. I will link Mora's Instagram down below. Also, if you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, I have a Patreon link down below as well. Other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video.